This cat is obsessed with me, I'm telling you guys. She just hijacked this video. She said, I will get my pets. You hear me now, woman. You will pet me. Excuse me. Ah, sassy. Hi, Marilyn. How we doing, pretty boy? What we doing, big guy? Handsome boy. Ta-da! My updated whiteboard, which you can see I'm not an artist by any means, and also my blue markers sucks. But I just updated this with everyone's feed, so if my husband needs to reference it, uh, or if somebody else was to be feeding them, uh, they would know what to do. And also then our due dates, projected due dates, Kidding Watch begins April 6th. This is the earliest ID could kid. And uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty exciting. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin and welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. It is a beautiful snowy morning here in West Michigan. We are here in the new year, 2021. And I'm gonna be showing you some things that I use to treat my flock of ducks holistically or naturally some of my favorite products this has been a long requested video by one of my viewers honey and i'm finally getting around to doing this so sorry it's been so long honey but i hope you'll enjoy this video i hope this information will be useful to all of you most of these things can also be used for other types of livestock as well as you know chickens uh geese other types of poultry so let's get right to it so what i'm actually doing this morning is giving some things to my muscovy ducks i just noticed one of them was coughing the other day and because we've had a lot of snow and cold you can get upper respiratory issues with pretty much all animals my goats have definitely been dealing with a little cough as well. So I'm going to be treating my Muscovy flock with two uh, things, which are absolute must-haves if you're talking about uh, treating livestock holistically, in particular uh, ducks or chicken. My favorite go-to products, uh, there definitely are other you know, brands and things you can buy, but this is a really good one and it's quite affordable. It lasts a long time. It's eight ounces, 227 grams. So this is just a vitamins and electrolytes with lactobacillus, which is a probiotic, a healthy bacteria, and all animals, including humans, of course, need healthy bacteria in the gut. Majority of your immune system surrounds your gut, so we wanna make sure we take really good care of our guts, and same thing goes for the animals. So this is just a powder, and I'm gonna be putting this in their water dishes over here. I've also got some oregano oil, Oregano oil is like a go-to product for me, especially dealing with anything like parasites or upper respiratory. Oregano has so many uses and it's safe for most livestock. So I'm just gonna be putting this in their water along with the, um, the rooster booster there. I'm gonna put it in one water dish and then the other one I'm gonna give them just clean fresh water. So I just went ahead and put uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon or a half teaspoon, I didn't measure it of the um, vitamins and electrolytes, and I did three drops of the oregano oil. And now I'm just gonna fill it with water, and then again, clean water in there. Gotta get them some food. You can see we got quite a bit of snow here in West Michigan. <sighs> got buckets just filled with snow. One thing my husband wanted me to mention about these frost-free pumps uh, to utilize them effectively and to have them not freeze. You don't want to keep turning this on and off as you're filling up water um, because of the way it drains. So if you only turn it on once and you just keep filling the buckets, it's going to be a lot uh, more effective as far as allowing it to drain and not having water stay in the pipe and freeze. Mara is loving the snow, aren't you, Mara? Hey 
I decided I was gonna take the ranger out this morning to do chores. I don't usually do that, but when I saw how deep the snow was, I thought, you know, I don't really wanna walk through, trudge through that deep of snow and carry buckets and hay and all that to the bucks and the ducks. So I just decided to take this bad boy out. And then I almost got it stuck over by the chicken coop. You can see all my tracks here. Snow's deep and I'm not sure if I had it in the wrong setting, but that was a little, got a little hairy for a minute. So it's actually a few days later since I started filming this video, but we got really busy and I didn't get a chance to finish it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. All right, so I've gone ahead and amassed some things, uh, Sansa egg baskets, those need to go out to the coop uh, that I use with my ducks and chickens to treat them holistically. And I'm just going to give you guys a run through. So I already showed you the rooster booster. Um, I wanted to show you this as an alternative. These are just little packets. You can buy these at like tractor supply or family farm and home, whatever your local store is. Um, they sell them separately, the electrolyte and the probiotic. You'll always see these around like chick season. This is basically these things uh, put together, the Rooster Booster. And this is so, 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 so much more cost effective than buying these packets. So I have the packets on hand because I've needed them before. When I couldn't get this, I ran out of this. But I, and sometimes you don't need an electrolyte, but a probiotic, you know, is just better to give that. Though really an electrolyte's not going to hurt to give. But I definitely recommend this over these. So I want to show you guys that. So besides the oregano oil, um, apple cider vinegar is something that I always use with my livestock, goats, chickens, pigs, ducks, whatever. Uh, it's really, really healthy for the immune system to give apple cider vinegar periodically. I don't give it all the time. It does matter that it is unpasteurized with the mother. You want to give with the mother because that is what is alive and has all that good bacteria and immune properties. If you get a pasteurized apple cider vinegar and it doesn't have the mother, it's not the same thing. Another thing from Rooster Booster is poultry cell, and I always have this on hand. I've got a couple bottles of it. Uh, this is just vitamins, irons, essential amino acids, things of that nature, minerals, and along with that, having some different oral syringes that you can use to give that if need be. You can put this like in the whole water, you know, in a large container and dilute it like for the whole flock, but sometimes you need to give this um, you know, directly by mouth to a bird that's having some kind of acute situation going on. Have my visitor here. Hi, Arch. Uh, another thing I always keep on hand, and this might seem strange, is straws or our straws. And what I use these for is if I have a bird with an injured foot, I will cut the straw and use it as a brace. Thanks, Archie. Uh, I'll link my video down below where I treat a chick with splay leg and having a straw is like an amazing brace when you have a foot injury. Archie, you're not going to be able to be up here, honey. No. Oops. Uh, having a straw really comes in handy and I definitely recommend keeping straws on hand as well as having like a thick piece of cardboard at the ready. You know, not very big, but just like a maybe four inch by four inch cardboard square in your med kit in case you need to um, fix any feet. The cardboard works as like a cast basically, along with masking tape. That's that kind of off white cream colored tape. I don't have any here obviously, but masking tape really comes in handy for specifically uh, foot injuries. Um, and another thing having on hand, uh, gloves. So that if you need to, you know, get up close and personal with a bird, especially if you're dealing with any kind of like a reproductive parts or, you know, eye injury or something, having some gloves on is a good idea. Along with that, this is just like um, a bottle for a plastic, you know, you can wash this bottle if you need to like flush something, whether it be an eye or a wound, that's just something really handy to have on hand. 
and hydrogen peroxide for cleaning wounds. Another must have for me is garlic. Now you can use raw garlic in its natural form. Just take a garlic clove, peel it and crush it up. And that is definitely overall a more potent um, alternative than like a powdered garlic. Raw garlic has, you know, its own additional benefits being in its raw form. This is just a powdered garlic. And this cat just needs some attention, you guys. So I'll step back and talk to you. So garlic is an amazingly potent um, plant and it has a lot of medicinal properties and I'm not gonna go into detail on those, but for poultry specifically with ducks or chickens, using garlic, if you have an animal that is immune compromised or with young birds, I use it especially with my meat chickens or turkey poults is just putting garlic in their feed to help to boost their immune system, especially if you have any concerns about like upper respiratory or coccidia or anything like that, garlic is great. So the powdered garlic, typically what I will do is um, fry up some eggs, like scramble eggs. They can be chicken eggs or duck eggs. Uh, birds are very much omnivores and opportunists and they will certainly eat eggs, you know, if it's scrambled up and served to them, I mean, they'll eat raw eggs too, you know. Um, I'll take the garlic powder, maybe put some oregano leaf in it and add a lot of garlic. Sometimes cayenne is another great herb to have on hand and um, that's really, really good for the digestive system and also for the immune system. And sometimes when we're dealing with infection or things like that, you know, using hot herbs like cayenne is good because you're warming the body up. So garlic is a must have for me to have on hand. I would really like to look into making my own like garlic tincture, but I'm not sure as far as shelf life with that. I need to look into that more. And if I figure it out and if I'm successful at doing it, I will of course share that in a future video. Another absolute must have essential item to have on hand for me when treating ducks or chickens holistically is colloidal silver. There are lots of options for colloidal silver. Um, there's lots of uh, misinformation on colloidal silver. It's definitely something that you have to use with caution, um, especially if you are taking it internally as a human, you know, you don't want to take crazy amounts of it. It does have silver particles in it and there can be adverse health effects. However, we're not talking about using this in crazy high doses or anything and it's you know very safe to use for all livestock so the colloidal silver if i have an animal that has some type of infection um especially looking at something viral or um you know just needing like a general immune reaction not sure what's going on with it i would give colloidal silver orally um just putting it in their water is fine and also uh, if there was a wound or like an eye infection, I would do colloidal silver. In most cases, uh, especially in the eye, colloidal silver is safe to use in the eyes. And that's something that I like to do. Um, I've had eye infections before and use colloidal silver. Also, there's a gel form of that and I'll link that down below, the one I like. And that is a great product to have for any kind of wound or eye um, issues with your poultry as well. Two last things here before we wrap this video up. Uh, the first one I don't have to show you. I just didn't want to lug out my jar of honey from the house. But raw honey is such an amazing thing to have on hand for animals for wounds and things of that nature. For all livestock, raw honey is so amazing. For humans, it has a lot of immune properties to consume it and can help with seasonal allergies and things of that nature. But for poultry specifically, I would use honey in the instance of a serious wound. So whether fighting with another animal, a predator attack, a dog attack, something of that nature, raw honey would be great once you get that wound nice and clean and sterilized to go ahead and put in honey to help to heal that wound. Um, Manuka honey is going to be the best type of wound healing honey. Manuka honey is just amazing and you can research that yourself if you're not familiar with Manuka honey or the differences. It is a honey specifically from um, a certain type of plant 
and bees in a country of origin. It's from New Zealand. So Manuka honey is very expensive. I like to have it on hand. I don't have any right now. And I would honestly save the Manuka honey for my humans in need because it is so pricey. But raw honey works great and there are lots of applications to use raw honey on a farm. And we always keep um, a good supply of local raw honey. Last but not least, the thing I'm gonna show you, I've only had to use this once. I will tell you this product is not a necessity, but I'm just mentioning it because I do think it's an important uh, part of treating poultry holistically if you, or more naturally, I should say, um, if you are going to run into a situation with poultry, chickens would be much more likely, I guess, to come into contact as they tend to be more contained than maybe ducks are. Um, I've never had issues with my ducks having like lice or mites or anything. But as far as chickens, when I first got chickens, I did have one issue with it. So we bought this stuff. It's crazy expensive. It's like $100 a bottle, maybe a little more, uh, but it lasts forever. I have sold a little bit of this to someone I know. She needed some. She had some issues with her birds. So I was able to just mix up a little dose. So instead of her having to buy this really expensive product for, you know, a couple of doses, I was able to just share some with her. And then that helped me a little bit on recouping the crazy costs of purchasing this. But this is called Elector PSP. And if you ever run into an issue with your chickens in particular, but again, with ducks, this would be safe. Having mites or lice or some type of external parasite, Elector PSP is the only product that I'm aware of that is safe to use. It doesn't have an egg withdrawal, meaning if you go ahead and mix it up in water and spray it on your poultry, um, it is safe to eat their eggs. You don't have any time period in which it is not safe to consume those eggs. So that product is something that I'm glad that we have on hand. I am glad that we were able to um, purchase that when we needed it, when we first got poultry. And I'm glad I was able to share that with a friend who needed it. Um, again, it's really expensive. I'm not saying go run out and buy it, but if you ever have an issue and you want a more natural, safe solution to treating external parasites in your poultry, then Elector PSP would be absolutely my recommendation. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, if there's more in particular you would like to know about, if you have any products you personally use with your flock, holistically, duck, chicken, or otherwise feathered friends, uh, if there's things you use, if there's things you like, please leave a comment down below. It's great to have this community and this platform to share information and experience and wisdom with people around the world. I think that is the coolest thing about YouTube. I love hearing from all my subscribers and my new viewers as well. If you're not already subscribed and you like this video, if you like holistic livestock and natural health, if you're interested in raising Muscovy ducks um, or Nigerian dwarf goats or anything like that, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I make new videos and leave me a comment down below. Tell me where you're from. Tell me who you are and uh, any upcoming videos that you would be interested in seeing. Let me know and I will do my best to make it happen if I feel like it's something I can talk about and add value and have um, experience with. I'd be happy to talk about it. So I'll see you guys in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And an update on the ducks, seeing as this video is about holistic duck and chicken care. You saw me in the beginning of this video giving the ducks their electrolytes and oregano oil and probiotic. Just, you know, dealing with that upper respiratory little cough here and there. I haven't had any issues and I feel confident that all my birds are healthy and that was just a little pick me up for them with this cold weather. So all the birds are happy, healthy, staying warm as they can and just ducking around. Got your log you like to poop on, huh?